um, on-chain data shows uh, the chain link supply uh, on exchanges has dropped to the lowest level um, in around four years a sign that could be bullish for link um, according to data from the on-chain analytics firm Santiment, Link's latest upward surge has come as the cryptocurrency supply on exchanges has dropped to lows. The supply on exchanges refers to the percentage of the total circulating chain link supply currently being stored in the wallets of all centralized exchanges. Uh, when this metrics value goes up, uh, the investors are depositing uh, a net number of coins to these platforms right now. As uh, one of the main reasons the holders would uh, transfer their link to exchanges is for selling purposes. Uh, such a trend could be bearish for the asset's price. On the other hand, um, the indicator observing a drop implies um, a net amount of the cryptocurrency is currently leaving the exchanges. This kind of trend could be a sign that the investors are accumulating, which can naturally be bullish for the price in the long term. You know, here is a chart that shows the trend in the Bitcoin supply on exchanges over the last few years. So, uh, as displayed in the above graph, the chain link supply on exchanges has seen a sharp decline recently. This would suggest that net asset withdrawals have occurred on the exchanges. And then following this drop, the indicator's value has hit just 14.87%. Now, this is the lowest metric since 5th February 2020, uh, almost four years ago. As the supply on exchanges has hit these lows, the price of Link has registered some rebound as it has recovered from its crash below the $13 level. It's all possible the, uh, the outflows had something to do with the recent price action, but it's hard to say for sure. Uh, either way, the indicator dropping to such low levels is certainly an optimistic development for Chainlink. And it's not just because it means that many Link investors are possibly interested in hodling the coin currently. There's also another implication here. It's the fact that the portion of the supply in the custody of the exchanges has been reduced. A push towards self-custody is always ideal for any cryptocurrency as these central entities will affect the market to a lesser degree. Uh, in 2022, the sector saw cases like the FTX collapse, which ended up destabilizing the entire market. Um, if investors continue to put their coins inside wallets, uh, the keys their own, then uh, scenarios like those uh, would potentially not repeat. At the time of writing, Chainlink is trading at around 15.3, up 13% in the past week.